In this problem, I'll be discussing about the Fourier series problem and uh, its uh, solution for that. So, uh, Fourier series uh, expansion for this for the function. Okay, so you have function uh, from minus pi to pi. You have two functions. Okay, and then you have to deduce that in this form. Okay, first let us uh, find uh, whether it is an even function or an odd function. When I substitute minus x, so I, I substitute it all throughout. Okay, and then afterwards, if I change this limit, I get the, the same function back. So when you notice this uh, for the given function, which is same as that, so uh, I conclude this as an even function. Okay. Now, uh, the question is, now how do you take the limits? The uh, limit should be uh, 0 to pi. Okay, so this is the formula for E0. So since it is an even function, you have to find the constants which is A0 and EN. Okay, so let us find what is A0. This is the formula for this. When I substitute this, after finding the limit, I get this as A0 as 0. Okay, it is A0 as 0. Let us find what is an. Okay, the formula corresponding to this 2 by pi is integral 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx. So when I uh, put that function, what is the function? I will mention this as 1 minus 2x by pi. Okay, when I substitute this, I get this. Okay, now this is in the form of u into v. So u being 1 minus 2x by pi and v being sin nx by n since it is an integration. Again, two times integration, I get this result. So, sin, again, integration of sin becomes cos, so minus cos, so that's what I have done. Likewise, a differentiation of this, uh, this. After uh, getting this, I'll get this. After substituting this uh, limits uh, 0 to pi. Okay? After that, all the process which I have been doing at cos uh, n pi can be written as cos n pi can be written as minus 1 to the power of n, which I have done this. Okay, this is the uh, constant en, which I get. Now, uh, the series expansion uh, by substituting a0 and en. So, a0 being 0, so I'll, I need not bother about that. Uh, the en, I substitute it. Now, hence, you have to deduce this uh, in pi square by 8. Okay, that is the problem now. How, how do we reduce it? So when you put x is equal to 0, where will you put it? The function which is f of x is equal to 1 minus 2x by pi. So when you put x is equal to 0, so uh, this becomes 0 and you get 1 on the right hand side. That's what I have done here. So left hand side you have 1 and uh, the cos 0 is 1 again. And when I expand this, I get this. Okay then this is the result which i get pi square by 8 is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1 whole square